So today, let's talk about diesel exhaust fluid and, and some of the things that can potentially go wrong right. on, say, a 6.7 or a 6.4 power stroke or any you know, common rail system that has the diesel exhaust fluid in it and has that system in place. Um, as we have, you know, as you can see here, we have a diesel exhaust fluid injector. And, and what's supposed to happen is you put the diesel exhaust fluid in the diesel exhaust fluid tank. The tank then sends the fluid to the injector. The injector then doses it into the exhaust and the world is fine. However, oftentimes, Ed, we're hearing and we're finding that you know, technicians are dealing with uh, the consumer putting the diesel exhaust fluid directly into the fuel tank. That's causing a lot of problems, isn't it? That is correct. Occasionally, people will get uh, mixed up on what they're supposed to be doing and put some uh, def fluid inside the fuel tank. Now, what happens when you do that is as soon as that uh, def fluid gets into the diesel fuel, it crystallizes. Now, if you don't energize the, the fuel pump on, so if you don't turn the key on, then all you have to do is drop the tank, flush it out, clean everything out, and put fresh diesel back in, you're okay. But the minute you hit the key on that fuel pump, now you have a completely contaminated system. So let's take a look at some of the things that we're gonna to have to replace. Oh, we don't have everything in front of us today that we would, we would need, but obviously some of the things that uh, would happen first. So we have a lift pump directly off of the fuel tank. It's gonna get the fuel from the tank up to the high pressure pump, which we don't have in front of us. So we've got a high pressure pump, we have feed lines, we have pressure lines, and there's also a set of return lines. In addition to that, we're gonna have all of the injectors as well as the common rails. So that's quite a, a, a large list of components that would need to be done, in addition to flushing out the tank. Wow. So let me ask you this, Ed. So let, let's just say that somebody does introduce diesel exhaust fluid into the system and they only opt to replace the lift pump. What are the chances that they got all the diesel exhaust fluid out of the system? Uh, very little. Uh, at some point, they're going to uh, be driving down the road and it's going to stall out on them and they're going to have a catastrophic failure. As that uh, depth fluid crystallizes inside the diesel fluid, it will build up in the injection pump and we've re literally seen uh, issues where a pump has actually broken the case on the pump because there's so much buildup inside of it. So it can be a very catastrophic problem. So if we don't replace the pump, or the lift pump, if we don't replace the lines, the rails themselves, as well as the injection pump, uh, also any miscellaneous fuel filters that are on the truck itself, then that means that diesel exhaust is gonna make its way to the injectors, and then that's gonna make its way to the cylinders. Absolutely. And, and then you said two words that I think nobody likes hearing in diesel, and that's catastrophic failure, right? Correct. So I think we don't want that to happen. So basically what you're saying is what we see here plus a few other components, meaning the pump, the injectors, the return lines, and the miscellaneous filters. That all needs to be replaced if we get diesel exhaust fluid into the system. Absolutely correct. Right. It's, the only way, it's the only way to fix the problem. Well, Ed, I appreciate the information. Thank you. Hopefully now you all understand that, you know, if you do happen to have diesel exhaust fluid get into your fuel tank, one, if you can, try to avoid cycling the key. If you get that, uh, that process out of it, you can possibly get things cleaned out and not to replace all these components. But just know that if you do cycle the key, and that diesel exhaust fluid makes its way through the fuel system, you do need to replace all these components because the worst thing you can have happen, again, is that catastrophic failure. You have to replace the entire engine. That's gonna get very costly. Not that this isn't costly, but it'll get a lot more costly if you have to replace that entire engine. So again, hopefully you have a better understanding of how that system works and, and the you know, precautions you need to take when you're introducing diesel exhaust fluid into your vehicle. Thank you for watching.